Let's take an example to understand the concept of otocology and cynocology. The Serengeti National Park in Tanzania is well known for its amazing wildlife diversity. Lions, cheetahs, leopards, hyenas, herbivores like zebras, buffaloes, wild beasts and many more. Suppose we are studying this zebra population, either an individual or this entire population, their interactions with each other and with their environment, then it is called autocology or population ecology. If we are studying many populations belonging to different species like the zebra population, this buffalo population, then cheetahs, lions, etc., their interactions with each other and with their environment, then it is called a synecology or community ecology. Let us define autocology as study of individual organisms or populations of single species in relation to their environment. Or it is also called as population ecology. Population refers to individuals of the same species residing in a same habitat in a given time. Whereas synecology or community ecology is study of group of organisms or many species in relation to their environment. Now let us understand the difference between autocology and synecology in detail. Autocology is the study at the level of individual or population of a species. So this is the zebra population 1. Suppose there is a second population over here. There is a third population over here. All are zebra population. That means populations of a single species. So we are studying different populations of a single species. The purpose is to understand species specific requirements or tolerance level to different environment conditions or seasons to understand the structure and distribution of this particular species. In our example, it is the zebra population. Whereas synecology, it is a study at the level of community or even this ecosystem, this entire grassland ecosystem, the study of different species and their interaction altogether is a study of synecology. It is to understand the structure and organization of a community that comprises of different species and their interactions. So this is synecology, a community study or community ecology. Autocology is comparatively simple. It is experimental and inductive. That means easily measurable variables are considered. Suppose effect of temperature, light, nutrients or humidity on this particular population, zebra population. So the variables selected are easily measurable. So we make different individual observations about these populations and finally making a general conclusion that is why it is called as inductive. It can be conducted in a laboratory in the case of small organisms. If the conditions are provided, we can replicate the experimental setup in a laboratory in some cases. Data interpretations using classical mathematical tools like ANOVA, mean, median, mod, etc. So we are very much familiar with this population ecology or study of populations of a single species. But synecology is very complex as it involves many species and their interactions. It is a science of observation rather than experimentation. It's often detective. We start with a general principle and we will be observing things continuously and finally making a generalization. That's why it is called as detective. And this cannot be conducted in a laboratory setup as it comprises of complex set of species and their interactions. To understand synecology or community ecology, complex mathematical tools are required. In the case of pre-predator relationship, we are using complex Lord Volterra model. Synecology is primarily to understand the structure, the basic organization and distribution and function of different species in an ecosystem. Now let us see some examples. Examples include grazing habits of this particular zebra population, then environmental tolerance to different seasonal changes, then birth rate of species in different seasons. All are studies of autocology or population studies. Whereas synecology, if we are studying the structure of food web in this grassland ecosystem, African savanna grassland ecosystem, then it is an example of synecology. Many species 
are involved complex interactions are involved prey predator relationship or population dynamics there are big cats in this african savanna how this big cats their distribution affects the prey population like zebras buffaloes wild beast etc then nutrient cycles it can even be the study of this whole african savanna grassland ecosystem Cynecology helps us to understand core concepts like food web, nutrient cycles of an ecosystem, often focused on conservation aspects of an ecosystem. Hope you are clear with the difference between autoecology and cynecology. Take care, stay blessed. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com. Thank you so much for your attention.